Hello everyone and welcome to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you just my uh, win bet Lucky 15 for tomorrow's horse race in action and we're going to be focusing on the US scene at Gulfstream where they're still racing they've got a good card coming up not a bad card tomorrow but Saturday they're going to be hosting the Florida Derby which is a grade one and also as well they'll be um, hosting the grade two Gulfstream Oaks so they've got some good cards coming up and often those races have been seen as a springboard for some of the Kentucky uh, Derby and Oaks trials uh, which are going to be obviously happening later this year as they got uh, postponed due to the coronavirus outbreak and before I give you those tips I just want to say it was a good day on our uh, YouTube channel today with the selections that we gave to run in South Africa at Val. If uh, you did the Each Way Lucky 15, you would have come out with a profit. Our original selection in the 11.50 afternoon tea became a non-runner. I did actually put up a replacement selection on Twitter for that one. And if you followed me, that horse came second. So if you did the Each Way angle, we had three placed horses and they all came second actually. And we had a, a winner with uh, Aquan with our final selection for Mike Cock. So it was a good day over at Val and like I said we'll be going through the US racing uh, for tomorrow and I'll, like I said I'll give you those selections in a minute but I just want to say that I've seen quite um, a few comments flying around saying why are you betting on this race and why are you giving tips for here and the truth is I'm actually really interested in racing as a whole now obviously you're going to have your different specialists you're going to have your different British and Irish uh, specialists well obviously that's where my uh, most most of my knowledge comes from but i'm learning about this um international racing and what's going on all the time i already had a fair a fair knowledge of south african um racing and also as well at happy valley and the hong kong scene but i didn't really know too much about the australian racing and also as well the american racing but it's going to be good practice uh, to get some knowledge um of those um, circuits of racing because you often get the odd Australian runner come to Royal Ascot you might get an American runner come to Royal Ascot some of those jockeys will be coming over too for some spells over um, in the UK flat season from time to time and it's just to just good to have a bit of background knowledge about what kind of conditions they race in and then when we get race meetings such as the Melbourne Cup and um, the Breeders' Cup we're not going to be sitting there thinking oh god I don't know uh, what this form is worth and we don't know what Australian and American runners we should be looking at and just focusing entirely on the British and Irish action that is going over there the, the brigades that have been sent to run in those races so it's just good to to learn a little bit more about the sport and if you do pay close attention to it you can have some success and we've had some good success over the last week we've had a few profitable lucky 15s and we'll hopefully continue to do that and uh, hopefully we can get through this over the next couple of months and we'll be seeing uh, racing again in the summer uh, in the British Isles so uh, fingers crossed we can get it but like I said we'll get straight into the tips now uh, for Gulfstream and we're actually going to be starting um, at 8 10 and now the thing about racing in America is they kind of tend to go off whenever they want really they don't often go off uh, post time but our first selection goes in the 8 10 a horse called Chase Runner and this horse is trained by Laura Cazares and Edgar Zayas is uh, but for the ride tomorrow now this horse has won three times over the mile and he, he ran not a bad race uh, last time out uh, behind a horse that had already won prior to that and both of them were probably more comfortable over a mile and chase runner he was from the front uh, last time out but he just set it up for that eventual winner but i think going back having trip tomorrow is definitely going to suit him because much of his better form has come over here and he's got not bad to draw, draw as well and if he can get a good prominent position early on i think he's definitely worth a punt and for our just win only lucky 15 tomorrow he's currently available at 11 4 with some bookmakers we then go to the next race and actually they're all going to be for each of the next race uh, the second leg comes in the 841 with a horse called camp randall and this horse is trained by stanley hoff i ha think that's how you pronounce it and uh, louis says is uh, booked for the ride tomorrow now this horse has won his last two starts you for can forget his uh, first ever start under rules but this season he's been getting his act together and he's only a four-year-old and he's starting to improve really well and the race that he won last time it was a very close finish and some of them uh, some of his rivals had their excuses they 
got into a little bit of traffic. But still, nonetheless, Camp Randall is going through the grades really well. And both these wins have come at Gulfstream. And course, course form is an asset I hold in high regard anywhere, really, because you often get a lot of course specialists all around the world. And it's always a good angle to follow in. So for me, Camp Randall, 92, I still think he could have a bit more improvement. Now, uh, this will probably be my strongest bet on the card, uh, Gulfstream tomorrow, in the 912, a horse called Money Moves, trained uh, by uh, Todd Pletcher, who's got a fantastic record in the big races over the weekend at Gulfstream. He's the leading trainer in the Florida Derby, and he's the joint leading trainer in the Gulfstream Oaks. So uh, definitely want to pay... Um, pay attention to his horses and Louis Sways again we're going to be picking a few of his rides tomorrow it's but for the ride now this horse was very well backed um, in 6 to 5 favourite last time out when it won on debut at the track and that was over 6 furlongs and if you actually go back and watch the replay you can watch it on the app, the races app or on their uh, website if you actually look at the race you're wondering where the hell is he going to come from and inside the last uh, uh, 100 meters or so he showed a really good attitude to uh, put the the rest to bed he comes from nowhere and stepping up and trip to mile should be a uh, no problem he um he's got uh stamina in his pedigree uh his uh, half brother i believe won over the mile trip so going up and trip looks like a natural move and it suggests as well by the way he raced last time that it will definitely suit him and money moves he's around about 11 or 4 shot with some firms at the moment i would definitely be taking that one we then go to the 943 with a horse called silver kitten seven or four with bookmakers at the moment trained by danny gargan and lewis Sa Sa saiz is uh, but for the ride now this horse finished second in a group three last time out and she's actually a daughter of kittens joy who's the same sire as uh, Rora and Lion, and we're starting to see quite a few of his come through the ranks. Now, that was a really good race last time out, and she wasn't too far beaten, and she ran with credit, and she's dropping back into a claiming race tomorrow, and I think that will suit her. Um, she's definitely got the class angle, and she's got the most recent form coming to the table, and it's not the most original selection in the world, but I think she would take all the world to beat in here, and come post time, I could even see her going shorter than even money. So, uh, yeah, Silver Kitten for me. And that's the last uh, bet in our Lucky 15 tomorrow. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel here at Lucky Loads 15. You can also follow me on Twitter as well using my handle at Lucky Loads 15. And that's all I've got to say. So please gamble responsibly. Hopefully we can have some winners tomorrow. And we'll be seeing you soon.